What's up, Harry Hippo? Hey, 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 Harry Hippo here. How are you all doing? It's been a while, ain't it? Well, things happen, times change and so on, and so I haven't been around nearly as much as I'd like, but, you know, I've been keeping busy doing things I like, like this. Yeah, look at my druid bear form! <laughs> swipe, swipe, mole! And this? They call me El Diablo. La la flicker, flicker, and voodoo, voodoo, get a voodoo people. Ah, I'm undead, I'm an undead holy paladin. Ah, look at me, ramekin. Ah, yeah. uh, and this as well. Oh my god, this is so weird, what the fuck? Meow. <laughs> Wait, wrong animal. Shit. So yeah, busy busy. Anyway, should we just crack on with the show now? I think so. I think so. So as you can see, I'm sitting on a nice sofa in Dalaran. But this sofa is in the Alliance era, and I'm a sexy belf. Did you know you can sneakily get into the Alliance era as a hoardy? Well here's how you do it. Here I am outside the entranceway with those smelly dog things in my way, and so what I'll do is just fly up to the left here and then just swoop in under the back archway and land on the magnificent boobs of this ugly ass statue. And I'm safe. So much so that when I accidentally fall off like so, I only get attacked by one NPC which I think is like their battle master. But I've got free reign within the Alliance only section of Dalaran. I think it bugs it I guess, I don't know if it's game breaking but sod it, why not? But uh, isn't this funky or what? I love it. I mean, hold on, can I say funky or has that gone out of date now? I mean, oh, it's totally rad, man, totally rad. Yeah, I think that's much better, but we'll, we'll stick with that. Next one is just a bit of a quirky one. So my apologies for this character's outfit. I just started to level him and I look like a foobard unicorn man hybrid thing. Anyway, we're at Zerwing Repose. Well, Azerwing, Azerwing, whichever way you want to go about it. And here's some fighting going on here, and here's Kagar doing... What the hell is he doing? Well, to me, it kind of looks like a cross between playing baseball in one of those stereotypical American cage thingies. Oh wow, I'm so good with words today. Or, he's doing an Adam Sandler impression of Happy Gilmore, with, you know, the hockey stick thing. Yeah, either way, he bloody sucks. <sighs> just shake my fist angrily at Kagar, he's just so bloody weird. And, like, a dad, I guess, I don't know. I don't, but he's just so weird. I don't like him. Alrighty, welcome to Val Shira in Dreadroot, to be more precise. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Sorry, I can't do it. No, that's it. Let's go back to normal, normal voice. Normal voice. This is the area we run around to try and find Malfurion because he got bitch slapped by Xavius. You know, that moment he was like, oh my god, Malfurion, what are you doing? And Xavius is like, well, I'm just mine now. <laughs> and now I find him in a random area. I digress. We go into this little house with no door, because no elven building had a door. I mean, I guess it's too difficult to invent, I guess. And there's a page on the floor. So you click it, and it says, Oh no, oh mush, oh no, oh mush, over and over and over again. It's a bit weird if you ask me. But if we go over to the left here, there's another page, and it says a hell of a lot more. Just la 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 Bit still garbled bollocks to me, nonetheless. So it turns out, if you do a bit of googling, as one does, it actually is Elvish, which, as you may be aware, each race has its own language that it can speak and can play as you can use it. So if you're a night elf, you'll be able to read the following passage and it says this. If I am a rose, then I have a thorn. But if I have a thorn, then I am not pure. If I am not pure, then I am not worthy. If I am not worthy, I will suffer. And if I will suffer, then I will make those that are also not worthy suffer and suffer and suffer and suffer. Cheerful. So I don't know who wrote it, but it's a bit odd. So I thought I'd bring it to you lot, because, you know, you'll tell me these things. So let me know in the comment section below if you've got theories of what it's actually about. I mean, and there's probably some psychological thing, but even who wrote it, that would be great to know. Okay, so this one's great. and I love this. This is probably one of the first things I found in Legion that I really liked and inspired me to do this video. So we're at Deliverance Point on the Broken Shore where we all tend to quest reluctantly because we want the Apexis 2.0 to get the shiny. So uh, let's go down this walkway and take a look around. So look at that. 
It's a lovely pond where people are doing random things and doing stuff, depending on what your class order hall is. As an archer, it does archery. As a death knight, you're doing weird things around the corners. Anyway, well, it doesn't matter. But it, oh, isn't it lovely? Isn't it great? I mean, bless it. It even has turtles wandering around and swimming. Except for that one. You see it? In the middle? Shit, you think it's dead? Let's go take a look. Oh, damn it, this pond's deeper than I thought. I mean, what is that? Is that... That's an ogre. Yep, it's an ogre. His name is Dag. And he's been hiding in our pond. With a turtle shell on his head. And seems he's broken off his horn to use as a breathing pipe thing. Technical terminology. What was he doing here? Well, nothing so much now, but for people who used to play during the WOD days, you might remember him as you used to have to go around the various zones to try and find him, and he'd become a garrison follower. And he's an ogre rogue. Ogre rogue. Ogre rogue. Ogre rogue. Ogre rogue. Ogre rogue. Yep, yeah, they exist. Moving on. Alright, it's the last pit bit now, peeps. We got this. We got this. We can do this, alright? We're almost there. Welcome to Valshara, and once again, and more importantly, welcome to Bradenbrook, or Bradenbrook again, however way you wish to pronounce it. This false English village of doom filled with Dick Van Dyke voice acting. Mm, I digress once more. Anyway, we'll be heading to that house in the distance for a sneaky little treat, see it? So once we get here, we fight off the random trash that you accidentally pulled because you were too busy pressing buttons on your recording software to notice them. Oops. Once that's done, you run inside the building and up the stairs. Be wary, the fire does do damage to you. Not so much, but it's still like, ah, oh, hot. So go around the corner and you'll go and find this little doggy by the name of Grumpy. Simply click him to accept his quest and he'll become a battle pet for you. Simple as that. So let's go and uh, have a look at him, shall we? So here's Grumpy with his flappy cheeks of doom, which will no doubt be salivated up to the max. But he's a cute fellow. And I think he's great. He's a lovely little chap that not many people actually notice is up there. Anyway, I mean, that about does it for me today, I think. Yeah, yeah, we're done for today. So I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to do the usual like, subscribe, you do hookies, and I'll be back at some point when I find more intriguing things that I thought were worth a look at. Or if I run out of internet and think, oh, I'll just use some old content and chop it up and make another video, and when I get back into internet, I'll just chuck it back up then. Either way, until then, bye bye people. Bye 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 bye